5 Reasons Why I Highly Recommend You Switch to Linux Number 1. Free Yourself From Proprietary Bloat and Corporate Control Are you sick and tired of Windows forcing you to reboot your PC every time an update is available? Do you not like the included applications and bloat on Windows 10 or Windows 11? And do you hate seeing that activate Windows watermark on the screen if you use a pirated slash unactivated copy of Windows? Then look no further than here. Linux, an operating system with a focus on privacy, freedom, choice, and liberty, is the operating system you should be using if you want to be free from Microsoft, Apple, or Google, or at least be free from using their operating systems because while they are easy to use and have higher levels of software compatibility, especially Windows, this does not mean that it is a one-size-fits-all approach, in which case it clearly is with the big tech companies, but I am afraid that the approach Microsoft are taking with its flagship system nowadays is giving leeway for us to use Linux, especially with all the drama surrounding Windows 11, the minimum hardware requirements, telemetry, bloat, all that shit that we didn't even ask for, and yet, we still got it, so this is why I highly recommend you ditch Windows or Mac OS and use Linux instead, that is, if it is possible for you to do so. Number 2, Revive Older Hardware and Make It Usable Again Got an old PC or laptop laying around that has not been used for years. Maybe it's time you reconsider using it again. Linux is the perfect candidate for older hardware, especially really old PCs or laptops from around 2006 and later, some Linux distros like Linux Lite aim at reviving that older hardware, while also keeping the transition to Linux smooth and easy, in fact, Linux Lite gained a lot of attention when Windows XP lost all support on April 8, 2014. A lot of people running XP would have had older machines that could not run newer versions of Windows at the time, maybe Windows 7 at best, but even then, would it not be better to use something that's free and open source, revives older hardware, has a ton of great FOSS applications and programs available, and lets you have complete and total control over your PC or laptop when it comes to updates and other things? I think it would be much better. Indeed. Number 3, Choose Your Flavor. Literally, there are a plethora of flavors, distributions, to choose from with Linux. You can sort of see this in the smartphone market because Android is free and open source, and it is based on Linux. However, by comparison to Android, Linux distros do not charge a cent. The only exceptions being Zorin OS and Elementary OS. They also generally don't chuck in any sort of bullshit like bloat, ads, telemetry, etc. You also have a flavor for everyone with Linux, for some people, a pure minimalist environment might be your goal, in which case I suggest you look at Arch Linux, it's the distro with a focus on minimalism, but for other people, something like Arch can be a real headache, so if you're new to Linux and want to transition away from Windows, then I highly recommend you try Linux Mint, it is the best beginner friendly distro out there, Mint comes in three different editions, works well out of the box, even on really old hardware, it comes with the necessary stuff you need, nothing you don't, it does not come with tracking or telemetry, or at least that's what the Linux Mint team has in one of its claims, I certainly hope this is tried and true, but I would highly doubt Mint has any sort of telemetry. The only telemetry that is going to be collected is what browsers you're using, some FOSS applications may have telemetry data too, your ISP and government can still see everything you search for, download, view, etc. So even though you're using Linux, it is not going to make you anonymous, your operating system just doesn't have a backdoor that can be used against you. If for whatever reason the cops asked a company like Microsoft to hand over your personal data, then in that case, Windows has a backdoor in it, Linux does not, it is just that simple, so switch to Linux if privacy and backdoors are a major concern for you. Number 4, Save Money No, I am not kidding, Linux can save you a lot of money in the long run, 
because of the fact that you're not having to pay for subscription-based services or software within the operating system, unless of course you decide to sign up and pay for Netflix, or something like that, you also have all this amazing free and open source software to use, also saving you money, as opposed to paying monthly fees for Microsoft Office for instance, you can instead use the fantastic free alternative, LibreOffice, which as many of you know, is my favorite office suite, and I highly recommend it as a replacement for MS Office due to excellent compatibility with Microsoft Word, excellent PowerPoint files, the vast array of great features it has, the fact it's cross-platform, etc. By the way, LibreOffice comes pre-installed on just about every Linux distribution out there. Finally, in at number 5, have some fun. As mentioned, Linux can revive older hardware really well, which also means you can buy older computers and repurpose them, possibly even resell them with Linux. Linux can be a hobby for tech enthusiasts, geeks, nerds, and even noobs who are moving away from Windows or Mac OS, and because it revives older hardware so well, this means you might have a better time doing certain things like image editing, video editing, rendering, etc although this also heavily depends on your PC's specs, so if it only has 4 GB of RAM and does not have an SSD, GPU, or powerful CPU, then you're likely only going to be able to do light and basic tasks like browsing the web, word processing, light gaming, etc. However, if your older PC can be upgraded to more modern like standards, or at least perform more like a modern PC, then you can obviously use it to do more intensive stuff like gaming, high-end video production, etc. It's also worthy mentioning that the hardware and architecture can be too outdated to be upgraded, so if your PC is more than 10 years old, chances are, you won't be able to upgrade the RAM, CPU, etc. However, a GPU can always be added, if it is a desktop PC. Hard drives can be swapped out for SSDs for better and faster performance, if the RAM can be upgraded, that might be worthwhile doing as well, as you'll have more headroom to run extra programs, and if you have an old desktop, it might be worthwhile considering some additional peripherals and cards, by this, I mean add extra functionality to your PC to make it more useful, these can include things like a DVD slash CD drive. USB 3.0 port, a sound card, video capture card, etc. This is especially worth doing if you are a gamer or streamer. Alrighty, those were my top 5 reasons as to why I recommend you ditch Windows or Mac OS, and switch to this excellent free and open source system instead, with so many flavors to choose from. I will also end on this note, Linux ain't for everyone. A lot less software supports Linux, hardware support can be troublesome and difficult to find as you are relying on a community rather than a corporation, and the specific distro you think is best will come down to your needs, wants, and preferences, so if you want 100% software compatibility, access to big name games like Grand Theft Auto 5 or Forza Horizon 5, then Linux is not for you. However, if the benefits of using Linux outweigh the cons, then I think you should definitely try a distribution on bare metal, especially if you have an older PC or laptop, Linux could really bring some new life into that old piece of tech, and if you're happy to convert to using free and open source software, or you are already using a bunch of it, I think it makes sense to switch to Linux. And not only that, you can always take your Windows software with you, although demanding stuff like FL Studio or Sony Vegas Professional will obviously not work well under Wine or a VM, because layers introduce latency, and that's an issue for audio and video production software, so unless you're only going to be using basic Windows software, Wine and a VM are not the be-all and end-all for running your Windows software, sadly, however. I recommend you find free alternatives to these proprietary applications if you are thinking of moving to Linux, as you will have to make do with all the FOSS applications and programs. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks.
Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.